Okay guys, we're power shelling all the things here. So I revisited my create texture tiles function and I went through and I created an untile retile textures function. So I found these uh, creatures, they're 32 by 32. Uh, they're all by the same artist, but he happened to list four different textures at three, at four different, uh, you know, like grid sizes here. All the, all the textures are 32 by 32 for each individual creature. Um, this one has an offset and it's, the textures are centered and you can see some of them have spaces missing and stuff at the bottom, see? And then this one has an offset with nothing and everything. And what I did was I just went ahead and compiled these all into one image by extracting each of the sprites and then saving them into one. I did that with a PowerShell uh, function. Now the main thing that drives the PowerShell function, I know I've done a video on this before, but this will be a little bit more verbose and hopefully a little bit make it a little bit more understandable, is this is how you load and deal with bitmaps is the first line there, the system reflection assembly load with partial name system drawing. That gives you access to all of the .NET bitmap stuff. So then you load the bitmap, see final PNG, actually you create your, your empty canvas because I was able to calculate the total number of tiles that I'm going to need and then each tile is going to be 32 by 32. So taking the square root of 204 is like 14 point something so you round it up to 15. So 15 by 15 is where I got my um, my grid size, and then 40, 480 by 480 is 32 by 32, uh, 15 by 15. Did I go too fast on that? <laughs> so what I do is I load each image, and then I copy each pixel, get pixel set pixel based on, you know, the, this math right here. So I use the modulo operator, and I keep track of the index into the new image for each time through any loop that I do. Um, the outer loop here with the X and Y is the grid of the image that I'm copying from. The inner loop is always 32 by 32. And then the, uh, oh sorry, the other part here is math floor of the division by, thir by 15, which gives you the Y uh, in your grid that you're copying to. And then for the uh, missing pixels and stuff, I just kind of hard coded um, where they were at and everything. So this one had um, an, air, an extra image this one had some at the bottom and then this one didn't have any just like the first one so uh, and then when you go to save you just call the image that you created and then you save and then you save your image uh, oh, let me show you the loading too when you load a file you call the system drawing bitmap uh, just create a new object with the uh, file name it has to be the full full name uh, so drive, directory, all that. And if there's any spaces in it, be sure to use the single quotes in the name. Um, when you call git, <coughs> excuse me, git pixel, it's pretty simple. It's just that object that you created that has the bitmap, and then you put in the coordinates. For set pixel, the only difference is you have a pixel that you got from your git pixel, and you send that into the coordinates that you calculate on the image that you're writing to. So, all right, well, I hope that makes sense to the nerdy among you and the PowerShell gurus. Um, also, game devs can use this too because that's a really handy tool, obviously. So I'm going to keep that in my tool toolbox, and I would love to teach that to other people as well, or just pass it on, and and you can modify it to your needs. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.